Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at some new inexpensive light bulbs from Wise. These folks have been making very inexpensive security cameras. They now have motion sensors and contact sensors, and now they're doing light bulbs too. Uh, this four pack I paid about $38 for, so it's very inexpensive, and you don't need a home hub either. These bulbs will connect directly up to Wi-Fi. What we're gonna do in this video is set it up and review it, and I'll let you know what I think about it. But before we get to it, I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for these bulbs with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody has paid for this review, nor is anyone reviewing or approving it before it gets uploaded. You might see a couple of other Wise products in this video. Uh, the camera we'll be looking at, I did pay for with my funds, but the motion and contact sensors, they did provide to us free of charge for a prior review. So let's get into it now and see how all of this works. All right, let's take a look at the bulb itself before we plug it in and get going here. It's just a light bulb, as you can see, uh, but it connects directly to your Wi-Fi and does not require a separate hub to operate. It'll work through the WISE app, which we'll need to use to set it up initially, but then we can attach it up to our Amazon A-Word devices and Google Home devices. You could use it with both, plus the WISE app if you want. And WISE, of course, has some new sensors that we looked at a few weeks ago that also uh, can trigger these bulbs too. So we'll try all of that stuff out here in a few minutes. Uh, now, this is not a colored bulb. It is just white, but it has a variable color temperature between 2700K and 6500K. So you can make it warmer or colder as your preferences allow. And of course, you can change that programmatically based on certain conditions if you want as well. Uh, it's only about 800 lumens though, which is the equivalent of a 60 watt incandescent bulb. It's not gonna be all that bright as a result. So it's probably best suited for a desk lamp or something along those lines. So just be aware of that. Uh, power consumption, they say, is 9.5 watts when it is on. Uh, we'll also test and see what kind of consumption it has when it's off because it will have to maintain a connection to your network to listen to commands for it to turn itself back on again. So that will uh, result in probably a minimal amount of power consumption, and we will measure that in just a second. All right, so let's get this thing screwed into my lamp over here, and then we'll see exactly how to set it up. All right, so let's get all this stuff set up. You do need to use the WISE app initially to get things working, but you do not need one of their cameras to use the bulbs. Uh, what we're gonna do first here is click on the little three period icon in the upper right hand corner, and we're going to add a product, and we should see uh, the WISE bulb now on the list of the products we can add. So I'm going to click on that, and we've got the first bulb installed. Uh, right now that bulb is in this lamp and when I did plug it in it came on so that was a good sign. Uh, what we're going to do now is click on next and what it's asking for is my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Now in my network here uh, I have two different networks for each frequency uh, but if you set up your router from your cable company or just by default uh, usually the router is smart enough to know which network is which when you connect. So in your case, most likely, uh, you're just going to type in your Wi-Fi uh, network ID and password and it should let you in. Uh, in my case, I have to point it specifically at my 2.4 gigahertz network, which I'm going to do right now. All right, so I have typed in that information. I'm going to click on next here. And what it's going to do now is instruct me to connect directly to my light bulb to make this change. So we're going to do that and click next. Uh, so that's gonna drop us over to our network settings. I'm going to click on the WISE light bulb here. Uh, when we're connected, it looks like we're going to then uh, switch back over to the app here. And now it's going to connect and download all of its settings. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's doing this over Bluetooth, which would have prevented having to do that initial Wi-Fi connection uh, but it is now making that connection and uh, getting the bulb set up. Uh, looks like it's done that, and now we need to name the bulb something. So I'm gonna call this Studio Desk and click OK. And by the way, you're gonna have to do this for every light bulb, so it looks like it might take a little bit of time to get these things set up, especially if you've got the four pack of bulbs like I have here. Uh, but now we have the Studio Desk here on the list, and if I uh, jump back over to my other camera view here, I could probably just hit the button here on my phone and turn the bulb off. That's easy enough. Uh, so that seems to be working. Let's see what else we can do with it. So I did have to dim my studio lights here so we could see the bulb here effectively. Uh, so when you jump into each individual bulb, uh, you have two different sliders you can operate here. The first one is brightness, so we can dim down the light here. We can go to 35%, for example, 
or we can go all the way back up to 100 or someplace in between. We can even go uh, down to a really low number there. So you've got a good range of brightness settings on there. Uh, you also have a color temperature slider here too. So right now I kind of have it in the middle and you can see it's saying daylight. And as I move it to the right here, it will give us a different uh, title for that. So this one's cool white, which is a little bit colder. Or I can go over here to um, what it calls soft white, which would be the equivalent of an incandescent bulb perhaps. So you do have a good degree of uh, color temperature settings here that you can adjust depending on your mood. And actually you can set the mood uh, based on scenes here. So I can add a scene and maybe call this uh, warm. And then I can add another one here that uh, we can adjust for a cooler, dimmer scenario. Uh, so we can call this one cold and dim perhaps. And I'll click save here. And then if I go back to warm here, it will automatically uh, go back to that setting we had before. And then if I click cold and dim here, it goes back to that one. So some basic functionality here, nothing crazy. Uh, but again, you can do probably more through some of your favorite uh, home hub apps like the Google or Amazon stuff. Uh, you can also set a timer in each scene. So maybe you can have the light turn off uh, after a certain length of time. Now, if you want to set a schedule for when the light turns on or off, you can uh, just jump back out here to the main screen and go to add shortcuts. And what you can do in here is set a schedule for when the light will turn on or off. So we'll just say this one will be turn uh, off. Maybe we'll turn it off at night. And what we're going to do next is click on actions. We're going to say new action and we're going to include our studio desk bulb in that action. We're going to have it turn off if it is already on. I'm going to click save here. And what I want to do now is click on done because we're going to set this to automate uh, based on a time of day. So I can say time of day, you know, maybe at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, we'll have it shut off on these days of the week. I'll click on save here and it is going to now do that at 10 o'clock every day. It will turn off that bulb uh, if it is on. So I'm going to click done here and have that be the end of that. Now we can also create triggers based on things that other WISE products in our repertoire will do. So for example, we've got the uh, contact sensor here that will send a signal whenever these two pieces separate. So you can have one side on your door, uh, the other side on your door frame. And when the door opens, it will send a signal to your WISE camera to say that the door has opened. And we can have things trigger uh, based on things that uh, this sensor picks up. So if we jump back over to our app here, I'm going to create a new shortcut. Again, we're going to select the studio desk bulb and I'm going to this time uh, set it to turn on. So I'm going to click save here. I'm going to turn the light off before we uh, initiate this. And I'm going to click on done now. And what we're going to do is then activate automation once again. And we're going to set this for an event. And my contact sensor two is the one that I've got here on top of the box. And every time that that sensor opens, it's going to turn the light on. So let's click save here and click on done. And I'll click done again. We'll name this uh, sensor activate or sensor on. How do we call it sensor on? That's easy enough. I can remember that one at least. And I'll click on done here. And now that that's saved, you can see we've added another shortcut to the mix. And I'm going to turn off the light now. And if I take out my little contact sensor here and separate it, uh, you'll see that the light turns on and I added another shortcut in between takes here and if I close it back up again like so, it will turn the light off. So pretty easy to automate using some of the other things that WISE has put together. You can even have things trigger based on how long they've been open for and you can really have a lot of fun trying out all sorts of different things to make your stuff automate with their other line of products. And it looks like you can also have it trigger based on things that your cameras might detect. So if you don't have those sensors, uh, you can have the lights turn on if they detect motion or sound. Uh, you can also have it work with their motion sensor that you can get as part of their sensor pack. So pretty much anything that can trigger some kind of alert uh, can trigger the bulb to do something. Now it's also compatible with the Google and Amazon voice assistants and I've got each of them up here on the desk. I have a Google Home and the new uh, Echo Show 5. And what we're going to do is control the light bulb here with both of these devices. Now you do have to do some initial setup on both. On Google, you have to go into your Google Home app and you have to add the device through their ad feature. You're going to be scrolling through a long list of all these other home devices and you have to wait until you get down to the W's for WISE uh, to get that set up. But once you do that and connect it up to your WISE account, 
uh, your bulb and your cameras will appear uh, on your Google Home device. Now for Amazon, you have to add it as a skill. So you have to load up your Alexa app, go into the little menu on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, select Add Skill, and then search for WISE. When you add WISE and then log in with your WISE uh, username and password, it will then connect to Amazon and discover the bulb and you can go on from there. So let's take a look now at what we can do with both of these different assistants. All right, so I've got both my Google Home and my Amazon Echo device here on the desk. We're going to start off with Google and we will be blanking out uh, the trigger words so we don't set off your devices. Turn the studio desk lamp off. Sure, All right. turning off the studio desk. And that seemed to work. Turn it back on. Okay, turning the studio desk on. Set the brightness to 75% on the desk lamp. Okay, setting the studio desk brightness to 75%. And because I have a screen-based Google device, I can also uh, set those values on screen if I want. So I can turn the brightness down to 53% here or turn it back up. I also have the ability to adjust the color temperature. I don't have a slider or a dial here, but I've got ivory, daylight, cool white. I did find that these commands sometimes take an extra push or two to implement, and sometimes they don't happen right away, but I did just see that bulb uh, change in color. It may not be apparent on camera here, but it is going through its different color temperatures here as I'm sitting with it. So that seems to work pretty nicely. Uh, let's shift gears over to the Amazon uh, Echo device. Turn the desk lamp off. All right, that seemed to work. And I can also control it from here as well, and I've got a similar slider. Although it doesn't look like I can control the color temperature here from uh, the Amazon device. So that's one thing that I'm seeing a little differently here. So no color temperature on this one, uh, but I can of course make the brightness and uh, power uh, decisions here if I want to do that. So that looks like one little limitation at the moment uh, with the Amazon ecosystem, but I'm sure they will address that as time goes on. Now one of the cool things about using Google or Amazon is that you can group your devices together even if they're made by different manufacturers. Uh, so right now we're in my Amazon A Word app and you can see that I have a room called basement set up here and under lights I have three different bulbs, two of which are activated right now. Uh, so we have a color bulb that's manufactured by TP-Link and then of course I've got the studio desk bulb that is manufactured by Wise and I can control them both with a single voice command. So check this out. Turn off the basement lights. And there you go. They don't go off at the same time, but they did go off together. But I don't have to issue a command to each bulb or each brand of bulb separately. So if you are pairing this up with other brands that are compatible with either Google or Amazon or both, uh, you'll have the ability to control them at the same time through these apps. Now the bulbs also support IFTTT, or If This Then That. It's both an app and a website that you can find at IFTTT.com. And it connects a lot of different things together. So for example, you could have your door lock trigger the bulb if you want. Uh, what we're gonna do real quick is set up a command that I can issue from my Apple Watch to turn the light on and off. So if I go over to this in the If This Then That uh, trigger menu here, we're going to select the button widget as our trigger, and we're going to have it be a button push. And the that is going to be the WISE bulb. I'm just going to search for WISE. I've already set up and connected my account to IFTTT. And what we've got here is the ability to turn the bulb off, which is what we're going to do in this example. And I'm going to then select the studio desk bulb from the list of bulbs that I've configured and click create, create action. And once that is done and I click finish, uh, it will then be added to my app here on the phone, uh, but also on my watch. Let's take a look and see how this works. All right, so we've got my watch out here and the button transferred over. And if I just tap on this right here, it will communicate with IFTTT. The check mark will be issued and off goes the light. And that is uh, how IFTTT can integrate. And that's just one of the many ways in which it can do that. Now, power consumption was about half a watt when the bulb was off. But remember, it has to remain powered to have the Wi-Fi communicate. I did notice it jumping up a little bit here or there, perhaps doing some communication back and forth with the server, but generally about half a watt. When the light bulb came on, it was running at just about nine watts when it was at full brightness. 
So that's gonna do it for this look at the WISE light bulb. This does not require the WISE camera to operate. It will connect directly up with your Wi-Fi. But if you wanted to use those sensors that we were playing around with a little bit earlier, you will need a camera for that. And I think it's a pretty good deal for what it is. You don't have any fancy colors or anything like that, but it does work. I would like to see some brighter options available in the future because I'm sure a lot of folks would like to go beyond that uh, 800 lumens that this one can deliver. But for a starting point, pretty reasonably priced, and I think you can make a lot of dumb lamps a lot smarter without breaking the bank. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, emudev.org Tom Albrecht Brian Parker and Kalyan Kumar If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.